Hyundai has confirmed plans for an LMDH program that could see the Korean manufacturer hit the track as early as 2026. The announcement comes after months of speculation that the Korean manufacturer was evaluating a top flight sports car program. Now Hyundai is an iconic name in some global racing spaces such as rally as well as TCR competition. However, it's not exactly going to be the Hyundai brand that's on this car. Hyundai's luxury Genesis brand will don the car as the brand looks to strengthen its high performance image. They released the following statement. Genesis is proud to announce its ambitious entry into the world of endurance racing through the LMDH program. Genesis is actively exploring programs to strengthen its high performance image and after a thorough evaluation of various options, LMDH emerged as the most strategic choice for us at this time. We've carefully analyzed LMDH and found it to be a natural fit for our motorsports ambitions and a valuable program to drive the development of future mobility technologies for road cars. Now, in addition to this, both of the sanctioning bodies where LMDH machinery can compete also release statements. The World Endurance Championships announcement reads, Hyundai's luxury brand Genesis has today made official its intention to join endurance racing in the near future. Potential FIA World Endurance Championship entry remains subject to WEC Selection Committee approval. Meanwhile, John Doonan was reached by SportsCar365, entire article linked down in the description, and had this to say. All of us at IMSA are so thrilled that Genesis shared their plans to join the top category of endurance sports car racing today. We're eagerly anticipating more information from Genesis as details of their program become available, and we will proudly welcome them to the growing Grand Touring Prototype GTP category grid across the entire IMSA WeatherTech Sports Car Championship. Now, as you probably noticed from that statement, Hyundai and Genesis were a little bit vague. Essentially, it just says that they're going to be building an LMDH car. Nothing about what chassis they're going to use, nothing about when it will debut, nothing about what series it will run in, and nothing about what teams will field the car. Basically, it just left us with a ton of questions. Thankfully though, and even though none of this has been confirmed by the manufacturer, we're able to paint a pretty clear picture of what this program will look like. Now all of this is thanks to the hard work of reporters like Jamie Klein, Davey Oema, both of them for Sports Car 365, and then also Stephen Kilby for Daily Sports Car. All of them have done a lot to help us fill in the information gaps. For starters, this appears to be a dual IMSA and WEC effort. The WEC of course mentioned in their announcement that this was all subject to the WEC selection committee approval, but I think you have to feel pretty good about them getting the nod to compete when this program is up and running. Meanwhile, IMSA president John Doonan mentioned in his statement that IMSA would welcome them with open arms. Now of course, IMSA has already a strong partnership with Hyundai, who have won the last five TCR driver and team championships in the Michelin Pilot Challenge. Once confirmed, Genesis will be the seventh manufacturer to announce a GTP program in IMSA, and the 13th hypercar or LMDH that will compete in the World Endurance Championship. And the chassis that the car is expected to be built off of has experience running in both IMSA and the WEC. Now of course, all LMDH cars are built off of one of four chassis. An Orica chassis, a Dallara chassis, a Multimatic chassis, or a Ligier chassis. As reported by both Daily Sports Car and Sports Car 365, it is very much expected that the Genesis will be built on the Orica chassis. In doing so, they will join both Acura and Alpine, who are both running on that Orica chassis. In fact, Stephen Kilby mentioned in the Daily Sports Car article that some key team personnel are already moving to France, where, of course, Orica is headquartered to help kickstart this project. As for a debut for the car, well, all signs point to a 2026 debut. This may seem like a pretty tight timeline, but let's not forget that both Cadillac and Aston Martin followed similar timelines for their respective cars. Perhaps the biggest question that remains unanswered though is what team or teams will be running these cars in both the IMSA and the WEC. It's being reported that it's very likely that in the WEC it will be a works effort. A team is expected to be put together there and potentially run an LMP2 car in the European Le Mans series next year just so they can get familiar with the ACO rule set. 
In IMSA, though, it sounds like an existing team may be the route that Genesis goes for their GTP program. Of course, there's two teams that immediately come to mind when you think of this, with the first one being Brian Herta Autosport. BHA has been competing with Hyundai's in the TCR class of IMSA's Michelin Pilot Challenge since 2019. Along the way, they've won numerous drivers and teams championships and really have cemented themselves as a true powerhouse in that series. The team also has very close ties with Hyundai as they're responsible for selling the Hyundai TCR cars in the US. The organization is certainly top notch and it would not surprise me in the slightest to hear that Hyundai was seriously considering them to run a GTP effort. The other front runner would be Chip Ganassi Racing. And shortly after the initial announcement, Sportscar365 has reported that Chip Ganassi Racing may be exploring a potential LMP2 entry in IMSA's WeatherTech Championship next year in order to prepare for this Genesis program. Now, Chip Ganassi Racing, of course, has a long history in IMSA, running in numerous different classes with different manufacturers, and have also experienced quite a bit of success. Most recently, they worked with Cadillac to bring the Cadillac V-Series R to life for competition in both IMSA and the WEC. You gotta think this team has to be high on the list to run a Genesis program in IMSA. And of course, Chip Ganassi Racing is really only in these discussions because this season will be their last competing with Cadillac. You can learn all about the team that's going to be taking over that Cadillac program in IMSA right here. A huge shout out to all of the channel supporters. If you too want to support the show, you can head to patreon.com slash off in the S's or click that join button below. Once again, though, thanks for tuning in. I hope everyone has a great race weekend and doesn't go off in the S's.